So if you do have a child or a teen um, who is cutting or self-harming and either you suspect or maybe you've actually caught them doing it, as a parent, what should, what should you say to them? How should you handle uh, responding to this behavior? Well, <clears throat> I think that what's important um, along with how you, what you say is how you say it. So as much as possible, um, a parent needs to be able to um, present themselves with love and concern first and foremost, to talk to their child when they're calm and not out of anger. Because really, you know, the child is really struggling and needs help in that moment and oftentimes don't talk to their parents because they're worried they're going to be angry, they're worried they're going to yell, they're worried that they're not going to really listen to them. So as much as possible, parents need to be in a space of being willing to talk, being willing to listen, and saying something to that effect. Saying something like, I'm really worried about you. I've noticed these things and I wonder if you are hurting yourself. And if you are, I want you to know that first and foremost, I love you. I want you to know that I'm here to help you and I'm not here to get angry and I'm not here to punish you. And we'll figure this out. Would it be likely um, if a child or teen were cutting that their friends might know about it? So maybe if you're a parent and you're not quite sure, would you ever recommend talking to their friends? Yes, friends often do know, um, but I probably would recommend to a parent instead of going to the friends because that might increase a level of distrust with the, with the, um, the child and then put the friend in an awkward position of loyalty, I would probably just encourage them to have the honest conversation with, with their child and just ask them. Um, sometimes, you know, they're if you're having um, a conversation and they're denying it and they're denying it and you still have concerns, then I think reaching out at the school, possibly then maybe expressing concerns to a friend. So I could see telling a parent to maybe say something to a friend like, I'm concerned about my son or daughter. I've noticed these things and I've asked them, but they told me they aren't. If you know anything, I hope that you would tell someone because we want to help as opposed to asking them directly. So the first step should always be talking to the child directly. Yeah. yeah.